You know, over the years, I've tried a lot of new foods right here on this program, but I'll tell you, there's something to be said about trying foods that are near and dear and maybe even a little bit familiar, such as a good burger or a great omelet. I am a hound for omelets, I gotta tell you. And Black Bear Inn in Cottage Grove has both of those things and more. Joining us now to talk more about those is Kate and Dominic. Welcome, guys. Thanks, Hello. welcome. Good to see Glad you. To see you Good again. to see you. So tell us a little bit about the food you brought in here today. Yeah, so we brought in, um, I think Dad made this omelet, I think it's a veggie cheese omelet. It is. Yep. Mm -hmm. So veggie cheese omelet with the hash browns and toast. Um, the next one we have over here is one of my favorite burgers that we serve. It's a mushroom Swiss burger and we added some grilled onions because it's the best way to have it. Yeah. Um, my sister-in-law cooked up some um, deep fried pickles. We have hand battered pickles, mushrooms, and onion rings. Um, so yeah, that's All one of, of her favorites. I know. Hand battered before they have to is be. really good. Yeah. And they come with our, our homemade dressings. Okay, you, yeah, you yeah. make those in house, don't you? Yep. Yeah. So um, the ranch is just like the regular ranch that we make in house, and then the other one is a Southwest ranch, which is like a Chipotle ranch. Okay, so this is the Chipotle ranch or yep. Southwest ranch. Yep. Okay. Gorgeous. And then um, last but not least, we've got our fried cod dinner. Um, with a baked potato and coleslaw. And extra creamy coleslaw, I might add. I, I love know. my coleslaw creamy, so Perfect. good job on that. And I see you brought some drinks here. You brought something uh, non-alcoholic and then something with Alcohol. something special <laughs> in it. So yeah. uh, tell us a little bit about that. Um, so we can do drinks to go. And okay. um, the Sprecher root beer, we still sell in bottles, but we also have um, Barks root beer off the gun now. So that's something oh. cool to add. Uh, but we wanted people to know that we didn't get rid of Sprecher. We can't. It's right. It's been a staple since we opened. Right. Um, and then we brought a Bloody Mary with us just because we wanted to talk about how um, our Bloody Mary bar is back. It's been a long time with COVID that we haven't been able to have the Bloody Mary bar. But on uh, Saturdays and Sundays from 8 a.m. until 2, people can come in um, and we will still make it for you, but otherwise we will give you the shot of vodka and you can go up and craft your own bloody. We can even talk you through it if that's what you like. Okay. Um, and then we've got an array of toppings that you can choose and, okay. and go so from there. So these toppings are just kind of are, are laid out and then people can go and choose yeah. what they want on it. Yep, like a salad bar, but for Bloody Mary. Sure, sure. Is this a, a pretty good uh, array of everything that you have there or do you have uh, more to offer as well? Or? Mostly everything that we've got to offer. Okay. Some of it's like sinking into the glass because I didn't leave it at the top, but yeah. You don't have like chocolate um, covered bacon on a stick that yeah. I see in Bloody Mary's. Oh, sometimes. but that would be good, that would be good. <laughs> so what are your guys' hours right now? What When are you open? Um, we are open, so for lunch we open at 11 o'clock Monday through Friday, um, and then dinner starts at 5 p.m. every day, okay. and then Saturdays and Sundays we open at 8 a.m., we do breakfast 8 to 2, and then lunch starts at 11, so there's a little bit of a brunch overlap. Um, the only day that's different right now is Sundays, we're still closing around 3 p.m. Around 3 p.m. on Sundays. Yep. That's probably pretty reasonable, I would imagine. Yeah. So. Yep. Are there other drinks that uh, people can get to go besides Bloody Mary? Yeah. Any, any so drinks. You can get any drink now. Uh, they just passed the bill in Wisconsin to have the Secure It okay. stickers. So essentially we would make, like pre this sticker, we'd give a little bottle of like airplane size alcohol. Sure. Um, and now we can do mixed drinks and then seal it. Um, we don't serve it with a straw. It's your choice if you want ice in it or not. Um, but you can order essentially anything off our menu then and be able to take it with you. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's good Which to know. is great to help us um, during this time. So. Absolutely. And what are some <laughs> other things that viewers can do uh, to support Black Bear Inn? Um, three things that come to my mind. I don't know if Dad has any other to offer. Um, the first is that, um, like us, follow us on Facebook. Our social media presence has been growing. That's really helpful. That's good. Um, the second would be if you know anybody that's looking for a job, we are hiring like crazy right now, just like the rest of our industry is, yeah. is, um, is trying to get there. And, um, that's so, that's so good to know that you're at the point where you can actually, you need more help because of the business yes. is, is picking back up again. Yes. I mean, that's probably a good problem to have stressful, but a good problem to have. Yeah. It is. Especially considering Dane County has been on lockdown and it's slowly, slowly becoming easier for us to have people in the building. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. The last thing that I was going to say for the number three was um, we have that curbside phone that we use Fridays and Saturdays. It's really helpful for our fish fry and our prime rib if people call ahead during the day to order anytime before like four o'clock is best. And okay. then order and we'll give them that other phone number 
and they can call us and there's no wait then when they get there. Excellent, that's good to know. So Fridays before four o'clock, get your order in, they'll give you a special number and then you can come and pick it up and it's ready for you right away. Yeah. Before we head to break, I wanna try one of these. I'm gonna dip it in some ranch sauce here. This is the um, hand battered pickle. Why is that so good? They are. It's, just, it's so good. Very addicting. <laughs> Very addicting. Well, you guys, thank you so much for bringing everything here. We really appreciate it. And thank you for your time. Yeah, thank thanks you. for having us. Don't go away. There's more after the break. Stick around.